Now, before the next programme, we go over to the newsroom. The Princess of Wales has had her baby, and it's a boy. The birth was at 20 past four, but news was given only a few minutes ago. The child weighs six pounds, 14 ounces. Mother and baby are both said to be well. Prince Charles was at the birth. Buckingham Palace issued the statement just a few moments ago. A boy has been born to the Princess of Wales. It's her second son. He was delivered at 20 past four this afternoon and he weighed six pounds, 14 ounces. Prince Charles was present at the birth. The traditional way of announcing the birth, that is a statement on Buckingham Palace railings, hasn't yet been put there. But a spokesman has said that both mother and baby are doing well. Now back to the studio. Crowds had gathered in Paddington soon after it was announced the Princess of Wales had gone into hospital. For some, the news of the birth has come after many hours of waiting. Over now to Michael Sullivan outside St Mary's in Paddington. Well, that official announcement from Buckingham Palace has not yet been repeated here, and there's still no outward sign outside St Mary's Hospital building here of the momentous event that has gone on inside. Prince Charles is inside the building, and I understand that he was present at the birth. But news of this new royal birth spread like wildfire, and within a few minutes, the reporters, like myself, who'd heard it over their radios and from their radio telephones, were giving the news to the crowds. And a whoop of joy went up here a matter of four minutes after the birth. You've heard the news? Oh. Princess Diana's had a, a son. What do you think about yes, it? Yes, sir, I think it's great. Are you a tourist? Yes, sir. I'm here from the United States. And how long did you wait? How long has it been? Six hours? A long time. Long time. What about you? What do you think of it? Oh, fabulous. Marvellous. Yes, lovely. Have been waiting a long time? Yes, since about noon. You, sir, what do you think? Oh, all the noon. Great. <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much. And now, back to the studio. The princess was driven to the hospital at 7.30 this morning with Prince Charles at her side. Throughout the day, the crowds waited outside St Mary's for news about her, as Gary Lloyd reports. Even from her hospital bed, the Princess of Wales was demonstrating her crowd-pulling power. They came in numbers that prompted police to call for crush barriers. Patients in the children's ward were among the first to sign a card to the Princess. Ronnie came in and told me that he'd brought some flowers, so he got a card, we all signed it, and I took it down and gave it to him and gave it to the reception. How many children have signed it? Yeah, all the children. Um, the princess is in the same room of the private maternity wing where she gave birth to Prince William two years ago. Have you done any redecorating for the princess? No, we haven't. We've got the same decorations before. So you really fairly used to seeing uh, royal babies here, aren't you? We've had quite a few, yes. Um, about um, eight over the past um, ten years. Are you getting blase about them? Not at all, no, they're all very special. Just to repeat the good news, the Princess of Wales has given birth to a son, six pounds, 14 ounces, mother and son doing well. We'll bring me, you more news as we get it. The next scheduled news on BBC One is at 10.35. And now it's time to wake up to the Noel Edmonds Late Late Breakfast Show. For the first time, I'm actually going to start with two firsts. I've never presented a Golden Egg Award at the beginning of the Late Late Breakfast Show, and for the first time, the millions out there know something that the people here don't know. We heard on the news a few moments ago that the Princess of Wales gave birth to a little baby boy just uh, an hour or so ago. Tell you, this was made up very quickly indeed. I will have more Golden Egg Awards for you as the programme goes on. 
We've got a cowboy who's walking away with one award.